Thanks, Eric. I know some of those kids are starting to count down the days, and in less than two weeks, the Belfouche Community Theater will take the stage for their 2023 season. Our Kyle Clark is live with the details on how the theater is prepping for curtain call. Good morning, Kyle. That's right, Keith. I'm live in Belfouche, where the Belfouche Community Theater is on its countdown to start their opening play for the season, Pride and Prejudice. And I'm live with some people who are helping make that happen. So tell me, how does it feel to know that you guys are less than two weeks away from your opening? Well, I mean, the nerves are definitely there, uh, but with every theater production, we all know that it, it's going to come together and uh, it's a really fun show. So I'm personally excited. I don't know about the actors, but... <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me, I know we're also joined by two other people. Tell me, who are you guys? Uh, I'm Bella. I'll be playing Lizzie in Pride and Prejudice. And I am Tyler. I'm going to be playing Mr. Collins. Oh, and are you guys excited to kind of get things started and for the season? It's going to be a party, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And have you guys kind of acted before, or is this a first for you guys? Uh, this is my first show at Belfouche Community Theater, um, but I do a lot of produ productions over at BHSU, so. Yeah, uh, this is my first show in about a year here, and uh, I'm just excited to be back. And so how does it feel kind of getting into character and kind of flipping into character? Because um, I'm told some of the characters are a little bit different than your personalities. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, Lizzie's a ugly, sharp-tongued, awkward little creature, uh, so it's not that hard to slip in. Uh, but I do have a little ritual where I become another person uh, into a British accent, so that's pretty fun. Oh, wow. So <laughs> it sounds like everything is pretty going well. And how are rehearsal going? Uh, really fun. Uh, it's just always good to try different things each rehearsal and just kind of see what sticks. And tell me about what you guys are wearing because they're, you're dressed a little differently from me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. We've got these Regency accurate uh, costumes. Uh, Angela Hastings is a wonderful lady. Uh, so she got me this gorgeous little gown that's just got this immense train and it's so fun to be swallowed in it. <laughs> yeah, Angela has done an amazing job putting together, you know, just finding all these pieces and assembling them into nice looking ensembles. We have some rapid costume changes that happen on stage and making that happen with accurate pieces is really difficult. Like Tyler, uh, yeah. Mr. Collins outfit. Yeah, uh, Mr. Collins is a clergyman and he's almost kind of like a, like a rock and roll clergyman <laughs> in, in my estimation there's just this great embellishment on this coat and I keep thinking like man I need to get me a coat like <laughs> this well tell me I know what are some other things that people can expect from this season well uh, obviously Pride and Prejudice is our opener but we also this summer are doing Rock of Ages um, which is an amazing musical super excited um, and after that we're doing a collaboration with some of the other community theaters in the area for a night of one acts called getting our acts together um, which we did last year we hope it'll continue to be a tradition um, and then our final show of the season will be a spooky one in October um, called House on Haunted Hill it's an original by our own Derek Olson so it's yeah, we have a really fun lineup this year. So. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to come out. Your costumes look amazing, and I'm excited to come and see the play. If you're interested in coming to see Pride and Prejudice, the play opens May 12th, so get your tickets. Back to you in the studio, Keith. Thank you, Kyle.